Okay, today is the 11th of January, 2012, a year later. I just found a recording of Mr. Steve Cohen from KUSI that I left on April 7th, 2011 at 2.21 p.m. How's that for good records? April 7th, 2020, 2017. Mr. Cohen. Mr. Cohen, this is Patrick Lever. I got my loan documents today. The only problem is they're only seven hundred dollars lower when they promised me fourteen hundred dollars. I'm calling to beg you to do this story. Um, you. Obviously, um, listen to YouTube, Patrick one six seven eight. That's all you, and my truth's going to get out. So I would appreciate some help. Um, I'm as calm as could be, but the banks, I have them on tape telling me, take your monthly income, multiply it by point three one. That's thirteen hundred dollars. They're still at two grand. I'm just going to have to take the whole lot of you to to the um, to see the judge. Because you're allegedly operating by your own set of rules, and I have you on tape telling the United States of America that the government has failed. So you can speak to your public, sir. I wish you the best in everything that you do, and I hope you find a God in your life that can help you make an honest decision. God bless you. Okay, let's just go down the list since there's so many. Bank of America. Let's try this one. Senior the Bank of America company that services your home loan. Here in tax statements are available online and over the phone. Paper statements were mailed on or before January 3rd. Okay, this is good. This one. American company that services your home loan. April 7th, 2011, 2.49 p.m. Send me the wrong way to at least this uh, Bank of America is taking, they are all, Thank you for calling the modification test for assistance team. My name is Charles. How may I help you? Hi, Charles. My name is Patrick. This call may or may not be recorded for quality assurance purposes. Um, Bank of America is taking money out of my account. I have proof. I have five news channels here in San Diego that refuse to do a story. They are all on YouTube under Patrick1678. You guys have shortchanged me on my loan modification. I have documentation that states, if you guys cannot do my loan correctly, I want it stopped immediately. We're only down 700. We have another 800 to go. I have a gentleman on tape stating, you take your monthly income, you multiply it by 0 .31. How many times does Bank of America allegedly want to perjure themselves? You have confused me thoroughly. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I've just been beat up. I had a woman at your company tell me you can get a lawyer, but you'll be broke and homeless. I mean, people hang up. They send me the wrong way. I begged five news channels here in San Diego to expose what is going on with my specific situation so that other Americans have a right to at least check their bank statements. I have recordings of your employees telling me your new monthly payment will be your monthly income times .31. We're seven hundred dollars over that. No one's accountable. I've begged your company for the last three, four months, please send me something in writing. And Armiana Armamia would not. None of them would. I've been beat up and now they gave me some loan documents that are just alleged junk. I've never been late on a mortgage payment in my life. October, November, December last year they charged me over a hundred ten dollars each month in late fees. I got it removed. But when I called back, they denied it. How many other Americans is Bank of America stealing from, allegedly? And no one will help me. I've called the White House. I've called the FBI. I have five news channels on recording and videotapes refusing to do this story about Bank of America. No one will allegedly stand up to Bank of America. Can you help me, sir, please? Man, I don't know. First of all, are you recording our conversation? I have to record every single phone call with Bank of America because I've been lied to over and over again. 
is the only problem with that. I can't talk to you if you're recording the conversation. Okay, what if I tell you that I've been lied to over and over again? If they fire you, allegedly, I will help you get the retirement, the pension, and the house that you deserve, sir. If you can step up and be a truthful American citizen, I promise you I will do everything in my power to help you fight Bank of America as well, allegedly. If, if, if you can do that, you don't need to make the call to me. If they're paying me, all you need to do is continue making your payments and going down the road. That's what I'm doing. I have. I've never been late on a payment. And I'm at twenty I'm at twenty two years right now. They promised me to drop my mortgage payment fourteen hundred dollars. They dropped it seven hundred. I have five news channels here in San Diego on video saying they are not going to report on Bank of America. Um, I don't know what else to do. I really don't. I'm in ill health. I have AIDS. I've almost died several times. I went to NBC. He tried to, they were going to call security and the police on me for just trying to get my story out to the American people. I don't understand what happened to this country. I know everyone's struggling, but if people could be truthful and honest, and help allegedly set the record straight, it would be a better place to live in, for sure. Okay, but like I said, I mean, I can't even talk to you because you're recording the call. I don't know, but can you put some documentations in there that this stuff has been brought to your attention, that the loan amount is $2,000, it's supposed to be 1300 Someone made a serious mistake. I have hours and hours of recording telling them I have two incomes. I went over it with them several times. They acknowledged that, yes, that's what my payment should be, around 1300 Now we're at 2000 Bank of America is allegedly making up their own rules. Um, let, me, I, let, me, let, me, let me just stop you there, because you're, uh, you're telling me certain things. Yeah. Why? I mean, we send you modification documents that you have to sign and send back to us. I, I just got them today, and I'm not signing them, because, you know what, I'm, all, I'm at 22 years left on my loan. I don't know if they're going to bump this out to 30. It's only dropped $700 a month. You know what I could do if I'm going to be like the rest of the people that are alleged thieves? I could keep my loan the way it is. I could do a bankruptcy. I could get rid of my second on my house, and I could get rid of my credit card. I don't want to do that. I want to pay mine back. I beg Bank of America, take my $27,000 in credit card debt that I've accrued over these years. You put it on your credit card with a lower interest rate. Give me the chance to make it right. I said, I don't want to sue. I have AIDS, cancer, wasting, and I've almost died several times. If I have to go to court, I will fall over dead. And no one will help me, sir. No one. My YouTube address for yourself for later is Patrick1678. And you'll see everything in there that Bank of America needs to know. Because I'm not playing. I'm really not. I was a realtor. I have enough knowledge to know when I'm being lied to. And America has a right to know this. So if you could just put a note in there, you don't even have to speak because I don't want to get you in trouble. But if they come after you, here's my phone number as well, 619-997-8618. And I promise you I will do everything in my power to help you as well. Armiana Armamia has lied to them. I caught her. I have it on tape. And it's on YouTube. No more games, please. Not you, the company. I appreciate all your help, and God bless. I need a response, though. This a uh, $2,000 mortgage payment isn't going to work. So if someone could please get back to me in writing, my email is realtor, R-E-A-L-T-O-R, -E 01 at cox.net. I don't want to get you in trouble. It's your job and your livelihood, and I would never want to mess with someone else's livelihood. But Bank of America has chosen to mess with mine, allegedly. So anything else you can tell me or any direction I could go in to try and get my payment to the correct number? Uh, the other people you can probably talk to is our eminent default department and set you up on their initial modification request anyway when you called in for help. Okay, can you, um, well, I got you, you're the first person I got when I called for help. Yeah, well, I have to transfer you to the eminent default, but they're not going to talk to you either. You okay, to I know. Conversation. That's okay, can you transfer me there, and if they refuse to, that's more, that's more ammo for my court case, please, sir. Thank you for your time, and God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to fast forward. Thank you for calling default information. This is recorded. Hi, recorded. 
My name is Patrick Lee. This call may or may not be recorded for quality assurance purposes. Um, I got my loan documents today, and we're eight hundred dollars different. You guys, I have you guys on recording telling me my payment should be approximately thirteen hundred dollars. I got loan documents today that say two thousand. Okay, sir. Sure. Now, uh, I'm sorry, sir. So before we go any further, can I please have your loan account number? Um, yes. Six, la 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 la. La 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 la. Thank you. Okay, I'm talking about my loan documents. I got them today. I'm not going to sign them because they're the wrong dollar amount. They're at two thousand. They told me thirteen hundred, and I. That's why I have to record all my calls because Bank of America. Every time I call, I get a different answer. I need some documentation that's factual. I've gone to Channel 10, Channel 9, Channel 7, Channel 5, and Kobo. They all refuse to do a story on Bank of America. If you would like, for your own personal reference, later at night, um, check YouTube. Patrick1678. It's all a lot, not all of them. I have a ton. It's all the documentation of everyone incriminating themselves, allegedly. I have Mr. Cohen from Channel 9 saying the government's given up on us. How is it? Uh, how is someone supposed to survive in this kind of environment? Allegedly, um, I'm not too sure. Um, I myself, I mean, I just like yourself and all. I'm struggling with right now. I'm just like I'm just facing time, but I'm just trying to keep keep on going. Okay, I'm sorry. Yes. Yeah. Are, are they giving you the same problems with your loan? Yeah, well, no, sir. Uh, I mean, I'm just trying to keep on going. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Person family member. Oh, good for you. Good well, for in a way it is good, but I kind of wish that I did have the option of being able to take advantage of some of these programs that they have that I know I'd be able to qualify for. But uh, since I'm not with the bank, um, I can't. But uh, they told me take your monthly income, multiply it by 0 .31. That came out to thirteen hundred and fifty dollars. They're at two thousand dollars. How do they get away with rationalizing <coughs> the difference? I don't understand, and I just need some help. Okay, well, let me see here. Thank you. Just check up on your dates real quick. And uh, now, before you went to this modification, did you have an escrow account already on your own? Yes. My loan was fine. I was never late. It came from Countrywide. You guys acquired it. Um, the part that blows me away is I made my payment direct deposit for 10 years. You guys put that money in an escrow account, charge me late fees over $110 each month. I cannot get anyone to put something in writing as to why that happened. I do have verbally a representative telling me my payment should be around $1,300. And I, I'd like to give you my number, 619-997-8618. If they fire you or you have any problems, I promise I will help get you a retirement package and a home, allegedly, because those people have stolen from the American public, allegedly. And I have the proof in my hand. It's on YouTube at Patrick1678, if they don't believe me. I'm not playing anymore. These people are messing with the American public, and people have a right to know. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you for your time. Thank you very much. I think they can put me through. Okay. <laughs> well, the, re the reason I asked you, Ms. City, was because uh, in this department, uh, of course, it's default prevention. My initial objective is to be able to help homeowners who are experiencing their financial hardships yes. and to be able to go through a loan modification that's through the government. Yes. Uh, that's pretty much my objective is to be able to help homeowners do that. So, um, as far as being able to tell you why your payments are higher than when they wanted, then I mean, I really don't have the answers for that. Okay. I would have to try to see if I can find you uh, their correct representative that be able to give you answers or can you, you put a note in the system for the
person who's responsible with my email address and have their have her contact me directly. Um, and that way, it'll take the liability off of you and put the accountability back on the person with the file. Uh, thanks for 